Getting an extra park bench or a signboard or a bubbler or something, oh, it's not really going to do anything. Uh, we need to invest all of that money into a plan for Carring Bar. Um, and I know living in Carring Bar that, you know, if I want something to do or drive past Carring Bar and go to Cronulla. Build a, a, a business area around here that'll attract people. It doesn't attract people here permanently. Yeah, they're pretty much, you know, either modernise and making a bit more sort of, you know, welcoming so people go, let's go to Carrier. Let's see if you beautify that, it's a bit daggy, you know, just beef it up a bit, better playground equipment, you know, and, and so attract some people in the area. There's a lot of graffiti and, and rubbish about, so we'd like to see that tidied up. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit of a, an eyesore, I suppose, <laughs> isn't it? That's yeah, I know it's going to take a long time, but get it looking nice. Yeah, and this is a great spot for it. No, I, I said, that, look, I've got the same problem in other places. It seems, seems to be a lot of uh, nomadic uh, uh, movement of, uh, of retailers in the area. Those shops across the road are a disaster for this area. They've been empty and messing around. But you walk along and look at the buildings in Carringba, no one's spent any money on, no one's touched them. Other than us, of course, we painted ours. A new, fresh look for Carring Bar that will attract permanent retailers will be the livelihood of Carring Bar going forward. Carring Bar is dying. Um, I think the two things that uh, we need to address is um, some serious commercially minded uh, planning and also parking. Parking restrictions. The car, obviously car parking. Yes. There's enough spaces for three car spots. Um, yes. Parking is a real problem as, as the, the pharmacist was saying. For uh, local business owners it's a real tough gig when trying to manage cars or multiple cars. If you look in the main street of Caring Bar and the, and the parking and everything else it's pretty hard for them to advertise what they do. Yes. I pay a private person for a parking spot but you can't have clients and then you lose business because a parking fine on top of their service. It's going to take a lot of work but what we're going to do, we're going to do a master plan of all Caring Bar. So what we're doing is we're bundling up all the public space that we have at the moment. We're going to send that out for expressions of interest to look at either a public-private partnership or what council can do on its own. So through the redevelopment of some of our excess land, we'll be able to provide additional parking, we'll be able to provide additional services and probably more modern services.